Hello, good morning. It's Give It Ten Jen here with your Wednesdays mobility, midweek mobility session. So today we're going to talk the SRT, the sitting rising test. I'm not too sure if anyone's heard of it before, um, but basically it's a test that was delivered back in the nine, uh, delivered, <laughs> developed back in the 1990s, and it was developed to. Um, as a, as a like a test of um, mortality, and um, basically the uh, morning, Kate. Um, basically, the uh, the ability to carry out the test is a good predictor of um, mortality, especially in older adults, um, fifteen and above. But actually, I think it's a really, really good way to um, to establish your kind of um, your abilities now at this age, and how strong you are, and how mobile you are, and how. Uh, you know, whether, whether you've got those muscles required to carry out the test. So we're going to do it in a second, but basically I want to um, uh, just talk to you a little bit about being on the floor. You can see here that I'm sat, I'm sat on the floor, um, but I'm wondering how much time a day, I'm going to turn different glasses on, I can't really see very well, those ones, that's better. How much time a day do you actually spend sitting on the floor? Are you someone who does like to spend time on the floor or, or, or constantly in a chair or on the sofa? or, um, or uh, yeah, sitting down on something rather than being on the floor. Um, I mean, the chair in, in evolutionary terms, uh, you know, in our, in our, our, um, yeah, our evolution is, is actually a fairly new invention in the big scheme of things. And for, you know, thousands and thousands of years, we did just sit on the floor or, you know, just s s sit around or, or um, balance against things and hold ourselves up against things. So the actual um, ability to get up off the floor just reduces as we get older and older and older. And we find um, that kids, kids between um, 12 to 19 months, it's been well documented that they get up and down off the floor about over a hundred times a day. I mean, they're just on the floor all the time and they're up and down and it's a classic case of you know, use it or lose it. If we aren't down on the floor, we lose the ability to be able to get up off the floor. And of course, you'll all know the problems with falling in the elderly and not being able to get back up again. That's huge. So of course, if you're not practicing getting up and down off the floor, then you will um, lose the ability to get up and down off, off the floor. And a really good way that, that this test that was established, the sitting rising test, is a really good way to maybe check in with yourself and just see if you have got those um, muscular systems and abilities and mobility to be able to actually get off the up and down off the floor in this manner, which I'm just about to show you. So all you're going to do is, morning Lucy, all you're going to do is get yourself on the floor. Hopefully you're in something relatively comfortable and you're gonna sit cross-legged, and the idea is that you're just gonna stand up and sit back down again. Now, there's no rush, you can take as long as you want over this, um, but it's just to see um, how well you manage to do it, and if you have to put hands down, and if you're unbalanced and all the rest of it. So literally, we're like here, we're gonna stand up, oh, <laughs> you know, lose me, and then we're gonna come back down again. So stand up, oh, <laughs> And back down. See, I was doing this fine when I didn't have to talk, but now I'm concentrating on um, on delivering it to the screen and <laughs> delivering it to you guys. I'm wobbling. So we're here. I don't want to trip over my trousers. I'm going to stand up and back down. Okay, so that was a perfect demonstration there on that one. So for you then, I'd love to know how you find doing that test and just being able to sort of stand up and sit back down again. And you basically, the score is out of five, well, it's actually out of 10, it's five on the rise and five on the, on the, um, on the getting down again. And, you know, basically you start off with five and then for every time you have to like put a foot down, put a hand down, or you get unbalanced and all the rest of it, you take one away um, until you get down to zero. So obviously a, a score of 10 is um, is best and a score um, below that, then perhaps you want to start thinking about um, strengthening those legs, especially quads and calves and glutes, those core muscles required to stabilize you as you come back up again. So really, really is a good, simple, simple test to, um, to, before you go out doing any sort of, you know, crazy, uh, crazy exercise routines and, you know, hit sessions and running and weightlifting is your new, have you actually got that stability and strength just to be able to get yourself up off the floor? Um, 
A good, another good thing to do as well is actually just spend some time on the floor. So uh, maybe, you know, just starting with a couple of minutes a day, just sit on the floor, you know, when you've had your tea, sit on the floor and watch telly for a bit. Don't automatically go straight onto the couch. Um, just just um, spend a bit of time on the floor, moving around on the floor. Um, those of you who follow me for a while know, know that one of my favorite um, exercises for getting warmed up is actually the, um, the, the stand, uh, stand up to get down, which, which is basically, oh, so those of you who follow me for a while will know this, we basically stand up, we get down, then we roll over, and we stand back up again and of course that uh, and that's a great way to warm up doing between five and ten of those is a great way to start any exercise um, routine um, but uh, yes and, and of course when you do that stand up portion of the uh, of the rollover stand up you can kind of get up anyway so you can you can also you know practice as you do that rollover you could come into the sitting position there and then practice standing up from there and then back down again and roll over, and cross leg again, and get back up again. So that would be a really good uh, little way to, to really um, test yourself and work on that standing up to get down. Anyway, so that's our bit of mobility today. I hope you're all having a great week. And um, uh, yes, what is it tomorrow? So it's uh, Kit Tuesday, Kit Tuesday, Kit Thursday tomorrow. So I'm going to introduce you to another little piece of kit you can use at home to help in your workouts or your um, uh, mobility or your strength or whatever it is we decide to use in the uh, kit Thursday tomorrow. Thanks ever so much for joining me today. It's great to have you here and I will see you tomorrow for kit Thursday. Jaloo.